people. Thank you for joining me again for another art journal page video. And just this is the book I'm working in. It's a little collection of old ledger paper and just yearbook stuff and scraps and that's that's what I'm working in. And as I started this journal page, I saw out of the corner of my eye my little Blick art catalog that I'd gotten in the mail. So I thought, hey, why not incorporate that into my page today? I really liked the bright colors on the front. So here I go gluing away and seeing, seeing where we end up with this. Now after I stick that on, I can never go too long on a page without reaching for washi tape. And you guys, I'm so excited because I actually know the name of the washi tape I use this time. Usually I don't know the names of my tapes, but I researched this one and found it online. So if you love it and must have it for your life to continue, then it is called Shops and Carts. So I'll put that name and the brand down in my description so you can go out and find it if, if you like it. It's one I use quite often so I was happy that I was able to find out where where it came from and now I'm going in with some titanium white paint from golden my favorite best friend paint in the world and as I'm doing this I just have to laugh because people have seen me doing this process and they say why do you cover up everything that you just did <laughs> and that is a valid question I don't know it's how it works in my brain and with my eyes. So that's where I'm at covering up, you know, 75% of what I just did. But after I get that white on, I'm going to whip out the infusions colored stains. You'll notice I just punched a little hole in the lid of these stains. I'm using a bit jaded and the other one is called slime. And these are cool. And the reason they're cool is because when you shoot them with water, you can see the color just explodes out of there. And the thing that makes these infusions colored stains different from color bursts or other types of powdered pigments is that it has a little bit of brown mixed in every color. So depending on how much water you add, it can look really dark and grungy muddy, or it can look really bright, but they all have that feature, which I think is kind of cool. So I didn't dry this. My paint and everything is still, is still wet and I decided to add some Blick Studio Acrylic. This is brilliant yellow green. And then I'm going with some Amsterdam brand acrylic ink and this is Reflex Rose. And I'm gonna hit that with some water as well. Now finally I'm bringing in the heat tool to dry this out. I'm kind of turning it different ways, getting it all dry, and then I fast forward like 10 minutes of dry time here. <laughs> and then I'm going with some pattern paper. This is from Kaiser Craft, again, probably from 20 years ago, I don't know. But it was really thick paper. And sometimes I don't like to have that thick of something glued to my page. So if you saw what I was doing there, I was actually splitting the paper in half, not ripping it in half, but actually peeling it apart. So it has more of a texture like tissue paper. And that was able to be stuck down without as many raised edges because it was thinner. And I finally decided where I wanted it to go. <laughs> and then I grabbed some more acrylic paint. I must have been on a Blick kick today. It's bright aqua green. So I'm adding just a little hint of that there. And then Tim Holtz, he has some nice washi tapes as well. And this particular, they come in a tube so you get lots of different patterns. And this one that I'm using is called Salvaged. They all have that, you know, signature Tim Holtz antique -y sort of vibe. But I wanted a little something to go on the background because I wanted to stick a word on here, wanted to sort of frame it just a little bit. And the word that I decided to go with, I actually typed it out on um, a typewriter and I thought we'd go with the word faith. That's an important word. I think right now, especially when the world gets crazy, times are nutso, 
can't can't do any harm to have a little faith in good things and that's what I try to always keep in mind grateful for good people and and happy things that we have in this life and I'm I'm always ready to celebrate the good so this was a relatively quick journal page which is rare for me usually I obsess um, a lot more so I'm glad that this one turned out all right just looking it over making sure yeah yeah I think we're okay on this one so we'll wrap it up thank you guys for watching and look forward to seeing you again soon happy crafting